Okay, tip four, let's just talk about the right keywords, how to find the right keywords, how to use them properly. That's more specifically what I want to talk about here is how to use them properly. Um, one of the th services we offer at uh, KK Smarts, uh, I do quite a lot of them, is the, the health check. And I go, I'm, I go and look at people's AdWords accounts for them, and I, I give them a review of, of what they're doing wrong or what they're doing right, and I, I identify areas where they're, they're wasting money and they could save themselves some serious money. And the one that always comes to the top of the list is um, poor keyword matching. Um, they just that they just don't have the keyword matching working properly in their ad groups and therefore they're they're effectively bidding on keywords that are pointlessly relevant for their business and they're paying for them. So I just want to talk you through keyword matching. And I want to take you through the, the three main types of keyword matching. And they're broad, phrase and exact. Now for those of you who think they know broad phrase and exact. Um, I'm going to do these in reverse order because when we get to broad I think quite a few of you are going to have quite a shock as to how broad actually works. But let's do these in reverse order. Let's talk about exact match first. Now exact matching as you know means that your ad will only display if the keyword that's typed into Google matches exactly uh, one of your keywords. So no other keywords, are, no other words are included in the search phrase. It's a perfect one-for-one -one match with your keywords. Um, so if, if we take the example of uh, men's shoes, then only men's shoes is going to trigger the ad. And as I've just shown there, to uh, set a keyword as exact when you're typing them into Google, you put those square brackets around them. Now let's talk about phrase matching, because this is quite a powerful one. Um, what this means is that if you have a keyword, uh, if a phrase typed into Google matches your keyword, or keywords in the order that they are written in your keyword phrase, um, you will match, your ad will show. It doesn't matter if there are words either side that they've typed, provided your phrase appears somewhere in their keywords that they've or their search query that they've typed into Google. So again, let's just look at men's shoes to give you an example of what I mean here. Uh, if my keyword was men's shoes, then these phrases typed into Google would trigger my ad. Men's shoes, men's shoes in leather, and best-selling men's shoes. They would all trigger a phrase match men's shoes keyword. And to create a phrase match, you put um, quotation marks around the keyword. Okay, I want to talk to you about broad match, and I said earlier that um, you might be surprised when I explain to you about broad matching. Let's take the uh, the definition that it very broadly matches, and it does indeed. Um, a lot of people uh, believe that broad matching means that my uh, uh, the search query, if it contains the words that are in my keyword uh, in any order, but it contains all the words that are in my keyword, then my ad will show. That is the common belief of broad match, and that is wrong. Let me just demonstrate. Men's shoes will match for men's shoes, men's leather shoes, and shoes for men. And they all fit that definition I just gave you. Okay. But did you know that men's shoes as a broad match will also match men's snowshoeing? It's a sport, by the way, and men's footwear. Now, let's take men's footwear for a moment. You tell me where the word shoes is in that search query, because I can't see it, but I guarantee you that Google will match to the phrase men's footwear typed into Google. It will show your ads if you are broad matching on men's shoes. 
The reason is, is that broad matching roundabouts, I think it was October 2008, uh, they implemented expanded broad matching and they kept it very quiet and not many people know about it. And what expanded broad matching means is that Google's getting very clever now. Google doesn't just match words, Google now matches the meanings of words. So Google has, uh, and this is quite intelligent I have to say, they have a massive database that now tells them that the word shoes is another word for footwear. So they are quite within their rights to show your ad if you have a keyword of shoes but someone's typed footwear. And similarly with snow uh, shoeing, they know that shoeing is a, uh, a version of the word shoes. So they have shown that ad. So broad matching can be very, very broad and it can also be very, very dangerous because the very last one I've just shown you is men's dating services. That will show your ad if you are broad matching on men's shoes. Why dating services? Well, it's got absolutely nothing to do with shoes, not the way I can think. One of the other criteria of expanded broad matches is it doesn't need to match all of your keywords. It only needs to match one of your keywords. So they are matching there on the fact that in your keyword you've got the word men's and they've got someone who's typed in a phrase that just so happens to include men's. So you can see there if you're selling men's shoes then men's dating services is a pretty wasted ad impression and a poor click if they click on it. I just want to show you <laughs> another area of broad matching that you may not be aware of. This is a genuine search that I did. Um, it was a while ago now, and I, I imagine this has been the person's fixed their advert. But if you have a look, I searched on dog leads. Okay? And you can see the ads there all for uh, various things to do with uh, dog leads. And that's fine. I then searched straight afterwards on cat litter or oh, litter trays, I apologise, on litter trays, okay? And you can see a lot of the adverts there about litter trays, but have a look here. Look at this ad. Dog supplies. There is nothing in that ad at all that's got anything to do with litter trays. And what's going on there, again, is broad matching. Google will remember your previous search. And if you are broad matching, it will help you out by saying, OK, I have uh, a search on dog leads, I have a search on litter trays, and you have a broad match that's got something to do with dogs and pets, I'm going to show it. So, here you go, broad matching is incredibly, incredibly loose. And if I, my personal advice to you is, if you've got broad matching in your campaigns, take it out stop using broad matching, that's, that's my biggest money saving tip of the presentation.